most a lot of actors are just waiting for their phone to ring, you know, which feels very passive. <laughs> Clearly not that kind of person. <laughs> um, and and very kind of antithetical and antithetical to to being a creative individual. So until you realize that you yourself can have those relationships with the creative people in charge of making things, um, then just being an actor, frankly, can be a bit boring. <laughs> For want of a better word, you're sitting, you know, you do a big thing, you're sitting on set for hours with nothing to do and with no say. And so being able to be a producer, I knew it would be something that would be so much more fulfilling and make me feel so much more present in the industry that I was in and give me more onus to be able to speak openly about the projects that I was a part of. So what are some of the challenges um, that you face in juggling those two roles? And was there anything that was surprising that you learned um, while on set? I mean, it's, yeah, all of my friends are actors and I have lovely friendships with directors as well. So there was this analogy someone gave me once of like, you're at a wedding and the director is the, um, the director is the mother of the bride and the producer is the party planner and then the actor is the drunk uncle that turns up and like does a dumb speech and then falls off the table do you know what i mean so like <laughs> you're kind of all of those different roles kind of feel very accurate now where you're like as an actor there is you have such a singular thing that you have to do and i think that it can it's very easy for people to infantilize actors you know, so much is done for us. And I, again, I always balk at that idea. I always feel very awkward about it. Um, and so being able to truly understand exactly how much goes into making a film, how much goes into making a production, um, the list is endless. So in Hollywood, I read that women make up only about a third. Of it's mental. Of producers. Um, how do you think having more women in behind the scenes roles can move storytelling forward. Absolutely it can. I mean, I'm not gonna go through all the cliches of like... Women are better. We, yeah, women do it quicker <laughs> uh, and cheaper and faster. Um, but being able to have different points of view in creating a piece of art are integral to that piece of art being good and worthy and important. You have to. We cannot make things in a vacuum. If you relate to any gender, any pronoun, whatever it is, each of us can live in an echo chamber and each of us, thanks to algorithms, can feel like the world is catered just to us. But when you're making art, you have a... A duty? Yes, a duty of care to the people that you're, that you're giving your work to. As a child, I watched TV, I watched films, I absorbed them, I related to them, they made me feel alone or they made me feel better or they made me feel seen. And I think it's incredibly important that we take that carefully and that we examine that fully and that we allow ourselves to speak to every type of human being out there, every type of experience, because that prevents us from ever becoming stagnant, it prevents us from it would it should help bridge the divide that we're living in in society right now globally first world third world whatever it is the extremes are so large art has a place to bridge that divide and to move people to feel emotional about different people's experiences and so therefore you move through the world with an empathy for others and with an understanding for others and with the time to be able to consider other people's points of views and have them be heard. And I think it's vital.